If the bootstrap distribution is approximately symmetric, we can construct a confidence interval by finding the percentiles in the bootstrap distribution so that the proportion of bootstrap statistics between the percentiles matches the desired confidence level. Here's kind of a picture of what that looks like. Our observed statistic is going to be right in the middle of our bootstrap distribution. For a P percent confidence interval, P percent of those bootstrap statistics are going to be in the middle of our distribution. And where those cut off on those percentiles is going to be the lower and upper bounds of our confidence interval. Basically, for a P percent confidence interval, we're going to keep the middle P percent of bootstrap statistics. So for example, in a 99% confidence interval, we're going to keep the 99%. That leaves 1% left over to be in those tails. Since they're symmetric, we divide that 1% in half, leaving 0.5% in each tail. So the percentiles that we would look at would be the 0.5 percentile and the 99.5 percentile. To do this in StatKey, it's fairly easy. Once we construct the bootstrap distribution and take several thousand samples to create that, we can click on the two-tail box. Then we can click on the level of confidence in the middle box and change it to whatever our confidence level is. The values at the bottom of the screen are going to be the upper and lower bounds of the confidence interval. So here's an example with some uh, data on the price of used Mustang cars. So here we've created the bootstrap distribution. We click on two tail right over here in the corner. Then we enter in the level of confidence. In this case, we want it to be 95% confident. That means that for our percentile method, the lower bound of our confidence interval is going to be at the 2.5 percentile, which gives us 11.932. And the upper bound is going to be at the 97.5 percentile, which gives us 20.474. And in StatKey, it's fa fantastic. These numbers just show up down there after you put the right confidence level in and click on that two-tail button. The standard error method and the percentile method are going to yield very similar confidence intervals for the same confidence level. Now, how are we going to do the percentile method by hand? Because on an exam, you're not going to have access to StatKey. And unfortunately, on the exam, there is no two-tail button to make things super easy for you. To do the percentile method by hand, we're going to have to count the dots. Look at the bootstrap distribution provided for you and determine the total number of bootstrap samples that were taken. Then figure out the percent of dots that will be in each tail by taking 1 minus the confidence level divided by 2. Take that number, multiply it by the total number of bootstrap samples taken that you found in step 1. Then we're just going to count in the dots on either side to determine the upper and lower bound of our confidence interval. So here's an example. This data came from some car depreciation data. So basically, here, first we need to figure out how many dots we need to count. We can figure that out by figuring out the percent that's going to be in each tail. So if I'm doing a 95% confidence interval, I would take 1 minus 0.95 divided by 2. Then I need to multiply that by the total number of samples in my bootstrap distribution. This number can be found in the upper right hand corner. There were a thousand bootstrap samples in this particular output, so that's the number I use there. So if I multiply a thousand by 2.5 percent or 0 0.025, I end up with 25 dots. So now, starting from the left, I'm going to count over 25 dots. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. And it's about right here where I hit my 25 dots. So that value is just a little bit to the right of 2,000. So maybe I'll call that like 2,010 or something. We'll call it 2,010. OK, same thing from the other direction. I'm going to count 25 dots, only now going from the right and moving towards the left. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So we're looking at about right there on our 25 dots. Over here, I can see I'm just a little bit to the right of 2,700. 
And so I'm going to guess that that's about 2720. Now, obviously, there's a little bit of wiggle room there. Um, you might not have guessed the exact same number that I got. But on an exam, I'm going to make sure that your answer just seems reasonable, even if it isn't exactly the same as the number that I guessed, because there is, there is a little bit of estimation error there. So my confidence interval would go from 2010 up to 2720. So I would say we are 95% confident that the true mean card appreciation is between $2,010 and $2,720. Now, the cool thing about the percentile method is that we can do this with any level of confidence. So just for fun, let's try another example here. This time we're looking at body temperature for adults. In this case, we've taken 2,000 bootstrap samples to create our bootstrap distribution. So the first thing that we want to do is figure out how many dots do we need to count. So we can do that using this formula. So first, I take 1 minus the level of confidence that I want to have. And in this case, I want it to be 99% confidence. So I say take 1 minus 0.99 divided by 2, which is 0 0.005. Then I'm going to multiply that by the number of bootstrap samples, which in this case was 2,000. Multiplying that together, I end up with 10 dots. So this time I'm going to count 10 dots over on either side. So over this side I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So maybe about right here. And on the other side, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So about right here. Um, so then, I again, I'm just kind of trying to give my, my best guess based on the axis here of what I think that point is. And I think it's about 97.96 on this side. And on the other side, we'll say 98.56. Then I would give my conclusion. We are 99% confident that the true mean body temperature for all healthy adults is between 97.96 and 98.56 degrees.